Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Give you some, I see if you hear my voice. Word. I don't know if you paid attention to that verse you read over there in Genesis, but when God got a hold of Eve, got a hold of Adam, he said, because you have hearkened to the voice of your wife. Mm -hmm. Not the devil. That's right, Eve. That's right, not the devil. Not the devil. <laughs> And since you said that, that goes right back into what what uh, brother brother Hill has been saying, that there has been a sh shift that has been going on to where we're right back to that position right, 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 yeah. that these that that the women are trying to take authority in places where they need not. To. I, I think they're prompted to the devil to do that, and I think it's a wise woman that doesn't yield to that. So we got to understand the dynamics of the, of the fight that we're involved in. If Satan can't get you personally, and a lot of us he already had, then he'll work to whatever the closest thing to you to, to, to trip you up. And she had, the woman has a tremendous amount of influence on us. So yeah, he, he'll definitely move on. It's not so much the woman that I'm trying to point out. What I'm trying to point out to you is, is that bro, he'll miss some stuff about my programming. See, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that what you don't realize is that you are designed and created to respond to somebody's voice. Yeah. It can be media, television, your wife, Satan, as long as it ain't God's voice, that's what the problem is. That's yeah, right. that's the word. Yeah, that's the word. My sheep, my sheep know my voice. That's the <laughs> word. Uh, I, I, I received that. That is a good word. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have to run with that one, brother Lee, because yeah. I mean, and, and 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 the other thing is to to go along with that, okay. you're not gonna know his voice unless you get to know him. Uh oh, say that. And you can't get to know him Please. unless you renew your mind with his word. So, yeah. you you gotta have a relationship. Uh, with the Father to develop that where you hear him at all times. See, if, if Johnson, if Johnson, I, they're dealing with that guy, I guarantee you, if the Spirit of God has said to him something, he would, he would, a whole different situation would occur. <laughs> because you see, what God is trying to bring us into is to the place where we're responding to him. Okay. And you fail to realize that when God says something, when God says something to you, it's different from when I say something to you, or when the Spirit of God uses me to say something to you. You see, I'm convinced that inside of the voice of God is the substance necessary to cause the reality to manifest in your life if you grab it in faith. If you grab it yeah. in faith. Now, is that what trying to say? That they, 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 he was upset because they heard his voice from the beginning? They were with him for, uh, I'm talking about back then. Well, see, it is, right? When they went over here. The, the thing that, that also got me in that, that scripture is that Jesus told them to go up to the mountain. Right. And though all of them uh -huh. went to the mountain, some of them did not believe. So that lets you know that people do what the word says, uh -huh. but they don't believe. Wow. He said, these people honor me with their mouth, but wow. their heart is far from me. Wow. Yeah. They, I mean, said Bishop said they, 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 there's the people who heard his voice. I'm just talking about they naturally heard his voice and they did have unbelief. Yes. Well, you see, hearing the voice doesn't guarantee. Uh -huh. What I'm saying is, you don't even have a chance if you don't hear his voice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, gotcha, you, Dad. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> now, once you hear his voice, now all the other things come into play about denial of self and death to self. All that stuff comes into factor. But if you don't hear his voice, you ain't got a chance. <laughs> so, so <laughs> hey man. Hey, look, look. I guess I'm saying the revelation I'm getting out of this is that when we when we talk about getting rid of these subtitles, <laughs> I'm saying is really could 14 could have been really the whole. In other words, nothing lines up. <laughs> 
without the first first fourteen being addressed. Amen, man. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. The, the God hit him. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just using brother, but I'm saying is God revealed something that you said last week. And I'm looking at it and saying, okay, I moved the subtitle out of the way, right? The commission. I moved that out of the way. And he read it again. And the first thing he really went back to was 14. Well. Nothing else lines up. You you see what I'm saying? Elder? Uh, yep. Brother Addison, nothing else lines up. Yeah. You know, you can talk, I don't care what you're talking about, the kingdom of God, the kingdom, gospel of God, the gospel of whatever. If you have this unbelief and all this other stuff, none of this other stuff going to line up. It's the emphasis on that particular, that's what I'm saying is, at least I feel like he's dealing with us. Elder is... How can you lay hands on the sick if you got hardness of heart? Well, if they don't believe because of faith. Yeah. I mean, that's all Jesus, well, I can't say that's all Jesus talked. Jesus mentioned it over and over. You yeah, know? yeah. Oh, ye of little faith. Woo! You know, how long? How long I'll put up with <laughs> You know, I gotta put up with these this faithless generation, you know? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'm just saying it, it just, the, the belief part is, is everything and 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 you can't believe without without the word without but, hearing without hearing the word faith coming faith coming by faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of god right okay so how could you have substance Woo. and he afraid of them because they had they heard right they heard yeah so so if you bring up Hebrews chapter, bring up Hebrews chapter three. Okay, one second. I'm gonna share too while I'm looking for it. Bring it up. So if you bring up Hebrew chapter three, I think a good place to just kind of cut in would be uh, probably I hate I hate cutting in on scripture. I read the whole thing if I was, but I, I think a good place to cut in is probably uh, verse fifteen. I hear what you're saying, uh, Elder. Oh, here you go. You know, just breaking off a sentence, just getting in I there. Because, breaking off this is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. important. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Okay, so verse 15 says, uh, well, verse 14, for we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our company steadfast until the end. Mm -hmm. While it is said, today, if ye will hear his voice. Yes. Harden not your hearts. Wow. As in the provocation. For some, when they heard, here we go, uh, Pastor, when they heard, didn't provoke, they didn't believe. Well, being not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. Yeah. With whom was he grieved for the year? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not? Yeah. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Wow. Now, go to chapter, go to chapter four. Go get to the next chapter. Okay. Well, I said to get my curse over here. Four. So you see, unbelief now was a problem back then. Yeah. 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 Chapter four, verse one. Let us therefore fear. Woo. Let me, let, let me let this sink in. <laughs> let us therefore be terrified and be afraid. Woo! Lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you, any of you, any of us on this Zoom this morning said come short of it. Yes. Wow. Amen. For unto us was the was the gospel priest as well as unto them. It was but priest. the priest did not profit them, not being mixed with faith. Woo! With faith. Woo! Even them that heard. We ain't worried about them that didn't hear. We're talking about them that heard now. 
<laughs> but we must have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Wow. So, so we find out now that this Ooh. whole thing is going to come back to this very subtle thing. Ooh. Of why Jesus upbraided the men in that room. He did. I know people could not go in, in, the, in, in, in into the promised land. Woo! It down to a matter of unbelief. Wow. Brother Isaac got all that revelation. <laughs> or at least God was hitting on him. He was, he was tugging you on it. He basically said, is y'all y'all focused on the wrong thing? <laughs> so, so if you need God to speak to you. Well, see what we need we need to get in the place where we understand that this whole thing is wow. intended to operate see when jesus said my sheep hear my voice he wasn't playing Woo! He really was. Woo! because see there is something see the the life of god i believe the life of god is inherently powerful is inherently Woo! holy it is inherently <coughs> righteous inherently humble the life of god is everything we need Wow. And we got that life inside of us. But what God is trying to do now is bring is break down the wall that hindered this life from being from reigning, from having dominion, from evidencing and manifesting and working and expressing itself in us and through us. Because wow. in order for this life to get out, it's gotta come through you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you are proven to be a very serious problem. Woo! <clears throat> Whoa! Wow, I, I, you know, I'm just still, I'm gonna throw back at you again. <laughs> that was really, if that wasn't been a subtitle, that was the subtitle. Because look at all the scripture, Brother Addison, that lines up with what we just talked about. Yeah. And even, matter of fact, it even was so far as saying the gospel, not the gospel of the kingdom, but the gospel. Mm -hmm. was at that the, time, it was the gospel of the kingdom. Huh? When he spoke, that that was God's kingdom. The children of God will wait for no, the kingdom no, to be manifested again. No, I'm talking about the scripture we just read. Is it one they referenced the gospel? Or, that no, was Old Testament. They referenced said, the Old said, Testament scripture, he right? He said the gospel of the kingdom. He said the gospel. Uh, hmm? let, me, let me bring it up again. Let me make sure. This one, I don't he, think. the one he just read. Mm -hmm. started verse. Uh, it started verse one, but he read all day and he said. Verse two, you see, I'm saying it with chap. When we just read what math with a mark, right? That was Mark 16, mm -hmm. and he and the whole purpose of my discussion. This was start off saying is he didn't say the kingdom gospel of the kingdom. He said the gospel. He left all the you know he didn't put gospel of the kingdom. He didn't put gospel of Christ or anything else. He said the gospel. Yeah, and, and that's what I was saying. And, when and you I'm, spoke, and I'm saying the subtitle. Well, one second. I'm saying the subtitle probably should have been about the unbelief because these verses he just read does, does it have all the components, Brother Addison? That yeah, it really does. Has all the components. He said, "See, I'm saying in verse two, it said, for to us the gospel preached." When we looked at Math Mark 16. He did, and I was sitting there focused on why he didn't say the gospel of the kingdom. Yeah, and 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 I think somebody when they said that the gospel is the gospel of the kingdom, it's it's, it's all encompassing. Because here, when he, I think when he says as well as to them, he was talking about characters that were playing out their lives in the Old Testament, right? Yeah, but but my point of saying is, they didn't have the focus, a, the focus was the unbelief in the yeah, heart. Yeah. Of the heart right. was the point. Right, to right, right. End, to to the end. Of, of of believing is to enter into his rest no different than the children of of, of israel when right. they crossed over right yeah i into think his it, rest. but what we found out enter, trying to trying to make was that um he didn't say gospel of the kingdom because the kingdom was the gospel at that point when he said and it still is i think that that's the consistency of it i yeah, think we're we, trying we, to yeah Right, but right. yeah, their unbelief prevented them from being able to enter in. And yeah, yes, yeah. so yeah. It, it, to, to finish that is entering into the rest doesn't mean that we sit down. No, and 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 we don't. We're the, it, when we enter into the rest, that's when the war comes. 
Okay. That's when the battle comes. Woo. And the rest that we enter in is resting in our ability. Wow. We rest in our strength, our power, our authority, wow. and we get into the rest that God has given us to where we rest in Christ and in his death and in uh -huh. his power and in uh -huh. his suffering so that the authority and the power of God is manifest because it's not us because we're in rest. Yeah. So and the really kingdom of God is to manifest from that point forward. Because yeah. as soon as we get into self, yeah, then we deny God and God's authority and God's power. So we, for so, the most part, uninitiated any action. We're just kind of following his lead. We, we just he listen to the say, order. No, yeah. no different than any king that gives us, that gives his subjects their marching order. Amen, man. They're, they eat, they're very right to exist. Yeah. Hinges well, on you, the king. Good. Yeah, but the priest, that like I said, though, is that the whole purpose was that all this other stuff ain't gonna line up until you get deal with this heart and heart and unbelief. And unbelief. Yeah. Now, I, I, want, I want to end this by saying, I want to go back. If you go back to chapter three one more time, okay. I will back up one verse. And one then, sec. One then, sec. I, 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 it's good that it worked out this way. I want to back up and look at what verse 12 says. That's chapter 3 yeah. in Hebrew. One second. And I'll be, I'm done. <laughs> one second. Hebrew 3.12? Yeah. So I swear in my wrath. <laughs> He shall not enter into my rest. Okay, he said, he said three twelve. He said three twelve. Three twelve. It said take heed. I got mad. Three twelve is take heed. Yes, brother. Need to be in any of you is evil heart of oh. He <laughs> said evil the, heart of unbelief. Yeah, unbelief. Ah. Departing from the living God. Yeah. I'm, and see, I'm just saying is, you know, Jimmy was right in the point of saying, I, I, I'm saying is that based on what we just read, the subtitle throws you off, it skews you off, but it skews you off is not about the kingdom of God it was talking about. It was talking about the dog and unbelief and the heart and the heart. But you, can't, you, you can't go to the only thing that nullifies the kingdom of God is unbelief. Unbelief. Yeah. If you don't believe, <laughs> we could have all these verses, all these principles and precepts and all these things. But you know, now I'm gonna say this, I'm, I'm learning there's a lot of things we just didn't get. Woo! I believe that when Paul says, now about it, these three, faith, Woo! hope, and Hello. charity, but the greatest of these is charity. Yes, sir. Now, now, what I what I have not really understood is that when you start reading about Jesus, Woo! and when this when you start at a very high level of contrasting the first Adam with the last Adam, yes, sir. The only thing that Paul really talks about is that by one man's disobedience, yes, sir, many were made sinners. Even so, by the obedience of one man shall many be made righteous. Yes, sir. None of this stuff is any good unless it culminates with an expression of obedience. Of obedience. Of obedience. God in the kingdom, the kingdom is characterized, if you look at the life of Jesus, Jesus said, for the Father loveth the Son, for I do always those things that please Him. Mm. Jesus is under the sovereign control of God every step of the way. Mm. The Son can do nothing of Himself. Wow. We don't. You see, all these, all of these uh, uh, parameters, faith, hope, and love, really is what God uses to create. An obedient creature. Hmm. 
obedient. Now, could you be obedient? Well, you have to have belief to believe to be obedient too, right? Yeah. You see, you gotta have faith, hope, and love in order to obey. Faith, you gotta faith is yeah. it's faith a form of believing. Yeah, faith is believing what God is spoken. You see, Jesus said, if a man loved me. Yes, sir. <laughs> he will keep my commandment. Can I say he will obey my word? He will obey my word. And he gotta believe in his word. I'm not with you. We talk about this stuff. Ain't no obedience. See, that's why that's why that's why it's important, see. Now you understand why it's important to hear his voice. Yes. Yeah. 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 Cause see what see, God God got Abraham to the place where Abraham was responding to the voice of God. Yes, he was sir. okay. And he and believed. You look at Noah. Four times they said about Noah. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him to do. He, he did. Samuel told said, Noah, stop. You have not hearkened <laughs> to the voice of the Lord. <laughs> you don't listen to these people. You hearken to these people. And you have not hearkened to the voice of the Lord. So you're going to find out from the very beginning, this thing is always about, if you go look in the Old Testament, I'm doing it now, God is always speaking. <laughs> hey, did he tell Adam? You say, you say to Adam, did, did you eat Did you eat in that tree that I told you not to eat of? <laughs> yeah, that woman you gave me, gave it to me. Man. <laughs> Who told you? Who told you? He, listen, he knew somebody had to speak to him. Who told you? Who told you? He didn't nigga. get it for my voice. You, nigga. He really didn't get it for Eve. Don't be nothing about Eve now. Eve is just an instrument. Right. Satan didn't use anything. Right. Jimmy talked earlier about this programming. Boy, the enemy is using media, all this crap that's coming at us every day, and all of this stuff. If we think about it, it is putting something in our heads. We're hearing voices as a result of what we're watching. Yep. And we're very subtly being moved by voices in our heads. Wow. If I were you, I, I'm reading the book right now that, that's called, it's a strange book. It's called The Rape of the Mind. The Rape of the Mind. Yeah. I, when I first heard it, I said, that's the craziest thing I ever heard. Until I got inside, I was like, what is it? Makes sense to me. Yeah, uh, the Rape of the Mind. Forcing stuff in that ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> wow. You're being raped, mentally. Uh -huh. <laughs> We've got stuff being forced into our heads without our consent. Yeah. Woo! You know what, Pastor? Uh, the bitch, that makes, that just makes total sense to everything. You know, it makes total sense to everything. And, uh, and, and that's why the Bible teaches us to guard your heart, which basically he's talking about oh, yeah. your subconscious mind yeah. with all diligence. Why? Because out of it flows the issues of life. Right. And, that's, and, that's, and that's a serious thing. But you know, it goes back to, I remember you used to say all the time that you would kind of look out into the world and then you would point back to your Bible and you would say, I don't want this, I want this. Yes, in sir. other words, you want to be able to walk in what the Bible says we should be walking in Amen. and not what we're actually experiencing on a daily basis. And I think that the reason that we're not, okay, let's talk about this gap between that. Why is there such a gap between what we're experiencing and what we're reading in the scriptures. Why, 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 why is that gap there? I think it's because of what we're saying today. And I think it's because of sometimes we've, we've reduced the word to mean what we're experiencing yeah. and not what it's saying. And we've had ourselves on the back because we preach the gospel, but we, we in them same sentences, it also said, raise the dead, cast out devils, heal the yeah. sick, all yeah. those kind of things. We, we, we don't do that. But we doing so, this one thing, and then we want to give ourselves blue ribbons, and 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 and, and different levels of, a, of of accomplishment. But why are we not questioning ourselves into what is holding me back from experiencing these other aspects of the same thing in the same sentence? Yes, so, and then, so basically.